I have your heart and you have mine. I have but one and I only give it one time. I hope you feel the same. Met you on the eighth of May at Gypsy Den on our very first coffee date. How could I ever have known you'd be the girl? That I can't live without. Our love's a Christmas, 
but turns out he had had this entire elaborate plan in October to talk to my dad. I, <laughs> yeah, and I was out in Arizona um, playing drums on an album, the, the Ryan of Axtell, who leads worship with Brian Wurzel at, um, at, in Arizona. And, um, and so we had scheduled three days, and then on the second day it was clear that we were going to get done. And so then I was like, hmm. So I just emailed her dad, and I was like, hey, are you going to be in Lemoore tomorrow, which is like up near Fresno? I was like, I might want to stop by to maybe talk to you about something involving a word that starts with M with your daughter or whatever. And, um, and so, yeah, and so I like typed it out. I read it to like Ryan and the other people I was recording with, and I was like, does that sound okay? And they're like, yeah, I guess. And then I was like, uh, I just, I guess I just need to send it now. And so Ryan comes over and he's like, hey, let's do it together. So he stacked our fingers, he comes on his hat, he goes one, two, and he hits it. And I'm like, no! I can't believe you hit that. I wasn't ready. And then, um, and then uh, so the next morning, I was actually, I was sleeping at your guys' house, actually. Remember that? We weren't there. But they weren't there. But um, I woke up at two in the morning. And hit the road, but the night before I had prepared a document that had all these reminders on my phone. Um, so, like at seven o'clock, I got a reminder on my phone that said, Text Mikel, good morning. So, I'm like, Good morning, like I just woke up. But you know, I'm already like across the state line. I'm like, oh, I'm in California. That's really easy. And then I did all of the equivalent distances because, like, the 10 is going this way and I 5 is going this way. So, like, I mapped out, I was like, Oh yeah, India sucks, and I'm like about to go for the great time. <laughs> and, um, and I did a, I did a decoy Instagram, of, like a drum set, just like no. recording drums. Um, and then, oh um, my god! And then I, I had Ryan actually post on Facebook about how like great day, great last day doing drums, no enjoying way. some lunch with Tej before he gets no thrown. So she knew that like if I left Phoenix at lunchtime, there's no way I could have done that. So um. It's true. So anyway, so that was the backstory. So I've had like wow. the blessing and the ring for months now. Yeah, so I had no idea. Not the idea ring, but the diamond. I have had the ring for like a week. Yeah. So I had no idea at this point. So then, you know, we get up there and he's like, or I was like going to the bathroom or something, and he comes out. I walk out and he's got like his guitar and he's like, oh, I just thought I would take it up there with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I'm like, okay. Because <laughs> well, like, there's, I have this thing where I like to. You know, if, a, if like a church builds a new building, I want to be the first person to like whistle while like jumping up and down. And I think to myself, like, no one else will probably ever do this. You know, like, I want to make mem memories. And so I told her, I was like, you know how I like to do that? She's like, yeah. I was like, well, I thought, why not just sing this song the there, with the guitar. Yeah. or whatever. So. so at this point, I'm like pretty con I'm pretty convinced th something's going to happen, but I'm still like not sure about like if he's actually talked to my dad and like all that stuff so we get up there and we're up there for a while and like i don't know he's like okay well i think i'll play the song now and then he played a song for me that he wrote which, for me which we've all listened to online yeah everybody's heard it at this point my, my thought was we like started we started like this and then we came down and almost grazed a vineyard so we're like, oh, this is so cool, but I'm thinking, okay, I'll wait till we get back up, and we have some airtime. The song's like a minute 38. I'm like, he can hold off on doing the burner for like a minute 38, right, if we have enough altitude. But literally, we thought we had it on film, but I, I got it filming and handed it to him, and he must have thought that he was starting Oh, no. It's okay though. I'm kind of glad that we don't have it because it was really embarrassing. <laughs> I forgot the words and like, I'm playing it, and every about 20 seconds it's like. I would just sing through it, and other times I would just kind of vamp on that same chord. And I like, keep going, it was like super awkward. Yeah. It was really funny. And then, <laughs> no one ever told oh. Well, so he finishes the song, and I'm just like, and he's just kind of standing there, and I'm like, cool, thanks. <laughs> He's switching his pick, like well, putting his pick back in his this, pocket. This pocket in jeans is for picks, so you always put picks in here. But I had, I had a ring in there too. So I, so picture taking a pick, 
putting it in there and trying to also <laughs> so I'm kind of fumbling around like this <laughs> like putting my guitar down and I have the ring and I'm like okay well and I'm thinking is it gonna happen what's going on right now and nobody ever tells you this is the big secret about proposals it's super awkward right? it's like, there's no music that swells you're just sitting there like uh so Congratulations, you two, you guys. We love you both, and welcome to the family. Yay! Yay! 